Well, I think it's interesting because, I mean, if you think about, again, think about AI on a, um, the, 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 the totality of AI. It's very easy, again, it's very easy to talk about AI and get very sucked into generative AI because mm -hmm. that's kind of the visible output that we kind of understand and can reference. Um, so, I mean, AI is better at humans in many ways at predicting outcomes because it's better at picking up patterns. So it can pick up subtlety and patterns and can process more data than humans can. That's why we have AI, else there would be no purpose to developing it. Um, and it would serve no function. So, so we know that AI is actually better than humans at predicting, but only based on what it is programmed with, only based on right. the data. The, what AI does not have is agility in terms of responding to a vast, quickly changing universe and, and, and context. So we already saw that that was a problem when ChatGPT was launched, that it was trained up to a date on data mm -hmm. that existed up yeah. to a date. And then that then then it wouldn't, you know, you couldn't do anything more with it after that date. Um, and that changed because now it can actually search the web and search for new things. Right. Um, so that's improved somewhat. But ultimately, whether it be, whether it's generative AI or algorithmic AI, sort of the AI that is scraping together your behavior on Facebook and showing you what you want to see, um, it's 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 doing a better job than humans at picking up patterns and predicting things. Right. Um, like I mean, that is it's sort of justifying its own function that way. Right.